Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing, I kind of had, um, I was undecided on what palette to choose because when I'm filming this, it's actually my birthday today. So I am 38 years old, born in 1983. A lot of people don't believe me. Oily skin has been my fountain of youth, but honestly, like, I'm feeling 38. <laughs> but when I'm filming this, it's my birthday. And this was one of my birthday presents, so I wanted to uh, kind of go through this one. I know not a lot of people like Jeffree Star, but honestly, I like the formulation. I like the quality in the product. Um, I collect them. I think the only ones that I really didn't care for were like the beginning ones, even though the pans were huge. Um, I actually got rid of my Conspiracy palette uh, just because... I don't know, it just, the color story didn't make sense to me. But lately, I've been enjoying the Pink Religion palette. I mean, I've been enjoying that a lot. I use um, most of my palettes, I use them more for special effects. But this one seems to be, like, up my alley. Alright, so this is the Jeffree Star Pricked palette. And it's a purse, look at that. Really cute. Of course, I think it's $52 on the website. He's not selling out as much as he, you, you know, he used to. Because I remember when I ordered the cremated palette, it was hard to get. It was very hard to get. It was hard to get the, um, what was it? The There was a palette that was, the, the hardest one to get was a conspiracy one. But I was just unimpressed with the uh, color story. It made no sense to me. It was all over the place. So I couldn't really feel like I could do practical looks with it, but this one seems to be really nice. Sorry, I have my fingerprints all over it, but yeah, this one's really nice. It's a purse, and it opens up with a clasp. We're getting ready for my birthday when I'm filming this, so when you see it, it's going to be well past my birthday, but I just love the color story. Look at that. So you have a lot of warm tones in there. Um, there's a lot of practical shades that I like. Um, I think Cutting Edge will be my brow bone shade. It's just this one's kind of hard to keep open. It kind of, ouch, uh, smashes on me. <laughs> and it actually matches my nails, so. Cool, cool, cool. All right. We're going to try her out. So, um, swatching, we'll do some swatching. Um, we're just going to play because, you know what? I wanted to kind of chill video today, so when you see this, course well past my birthday but it's my birthday so I want to take it easy on my video today so let's go ahead and start all right so I zoom you in a little closer so we can do some swatches on a bare hand no primer anything so oh wow this is interesting formula it's much smoother than usual very creamy so the first four shades we're going to go through starting from the top of the palette is pale in comparison this one looks like it's like a white in the pan. However, when you swatch it, it's a little bit more of like a peach color. And then there's a Fashion Whore, which is a bright like soda, orange soda orange. You got glitters in there that are yellow. What's this one? Sliver of Sanity. That's a nice little mustard shade there. Kind of like a pale mustard, but on my skin it looks a lot darker, which is interesting. This one is cutting edge. This one I could see as a brow bone shade, but it's actually come on my skin a lot darker. It's way darker than I anticipated. I don't know why these are showing up super dark, but I really do like that. Alright, so the next four is going to be... The mats are very chalky. Uh, unpeeled Pleasure. Pulp Addiction. I'm since... Oh, wait, no. That was vitamin... Okay, vitamin C word. Uh, unpeeled Pleasure. Sorry, I totally lost track of where it was. Um, pulp Addiction. Mysterious Circumstances. Next four. We have papaya latex. Actually, no, yes, papaya latex. Orange fatale. Whoa, that is super orange. Uh, twisted 
paste. Nice. Thorny. Nice. These are swatching very well. But like I say, it's always in the performance of the actual palette. We've got Forged. This one's like a really like red orange. Double crossed, and it has like a scorpion in there. Like an embossed scorpion. Uh, unblunted. That one's pretty. Glimmer of Hope. Nice gold shade. And the last two. Slice Me Open. Oh wow, that's pretty. Um, and Deadly Intentious, Intentions. Which is a nice glittery black. So there you go. There's the pretty palette. Always, it swatches really well. But like I said, it's always in the performance of how it is, not really necessarily the swatches, because swatches can be one thing, but I feel like the performance will be another thing. So what I'm going to do is we're not going to kind of try it live. We're going to actually do this um, fast motion because I feel like I ramble a lot. So we're going to just go ahead and zoom in. We're going to try it out. I'm going to create a look for you. I'm going to try and do something a little bit different, a little bit more dramatic, just because, you know, why not? All right, so let's go ahead and...
so there is my completed look a little bit more dramatic than I usually do this is actually what I used to do with my uh, makeup looks but I kind of dialed it down a lot more just because I work for Estee Lauder so my looks are a little bit more subdued a little bit more easier to obtain because I have to pretty much explain how I did my eyeshadow um, to my clients so this is the look that I created for my birthday so this is a very very nice warm palette it does blend very well what I did notice and I don't know if it's just me but the white shade was very lackluster I mean I like the fact that it's like a soft peachy shade but as a highlight it didn't do too bad it's it's pretty soft because it, it I mean it's more of like that white peachy I don't know it's hard to to describe but it did a pretty good job nonetheless um, I think the shade I had a little bit trouble with blending out was the black shade which was deadly intentions that one was a little bit harder to blend out I had to blend it a lot with this one which was slice me open um, but I love the oranges I didn't get to try some of the browns because I want to really more of a this is like a Halloween look this is very warm autumn I love it because it's very uh, very October which is my favorite month if you haven't noticed um, but yeah this is a very good palette I really like it um, and it's cute because it's a little purse so um, Jeffree Star doesn't disappoint for me um, I know a lot of people say he's very controversial and all that stuff but I'm just I just look for quality in a product yes sometimes there are you know people out there that do have a little bit more of a controversial um, outside the makeup thing but um, I look for quality in product now I was on the fence today whether to try, this is going to be a separate video, but whether to try the Pricked Palette or my uh, newly uh, purchased, <laughs> I had some points at Ulta so I was like I need to use them up. And then I had two times points so that was good. Um, the Anastasia Primrose Palette, so that will be a separate one. And then I managed to find this at TJ Maxx, this is the Fruity Pebbles Palette. Um, I love palettes, so as you can see, I'm trying not to collect as much, but I was just like, this is this was only seven bucks at uh, TJ Maxx, so I will definitely do videos on those if you'd like. Um, they might be later on, because um, I might do more or less like a simple uh, look, but this is very Halloween and I'm and witchy and I really like it. Um, so yes, the palette is amazing. I really, really love it. It's an amazing palette. Um, I know a lot of people don't like Jeffree Star, but I really like his formulas. They work for my eyes. They blend out really nicely. And this is what really makes me excited about this palette is I can definitely use these because I use my cremated, I use my orgy palette. I love my orgy palette as like just a regular uh, everyday palette, but I love it for contouring and highlighting and doing special effects makeup. I'd use my cremated a lot for my special effects makeup. I have used uh, the blood, what is it called, the blood sugar palette and the blue blood for special effects makeup. I've also used the blood money and the uh, blood lust as special effects makeup as well. So I think this is going to be like more special effects makeup, but I still see myself using this every day just because it's a very practical palette for me. Um, this is a very fall palette, which I really like. I know he's got another one coming out on the, f well, when I film this, it's already passed, but the weirdo palette. I'm kind of on the fence with that one. I just want to, it's a smaller palette and I'm not really for really small palettes. I want something that I can collect, but also I'm just, I don't know, I'm just, I, I'm on the fence. It's got things that I already have. So, I mean, I'm sure this one does too, but this one was really nice. Honestly, um, I liked the quality. It wasn't all over the place because I think that's what my biggest gripe was for the, uh, to the Spiracy palette as well as the Alien palette. It was all over the place. No true color story and no true theme, I felt. I don't know. I just felt a little bit like, what do I do with this palette? I want to be able to look at the palette and be like, okay, I can do this. I do wish this one was a little bit brighter so I could do that in the brow bone. It went on a lot darker 
than I anticipated, but I really like it nonetheless. Um, yeah, so a pretty good palette. Oh, and if you're wondering what lip shade I'm wearing, I'm wearing the MAC Love Me lipstick in Marrakesh Me Later. That went really well because I gravitate towards mauves or like MAC Chili, like those brownish, rusty red colors. Um, I really like Marrakesh. See, Marrakesh Chili. Uh, Coffee and Sigs, Cream in My Coffee, that, those are ones that I gravitate towards in MAC. I did want to try out, because it's similar to my Wet n Wild shade that I've worn. I think I wore that back in college. It's like a frosted, kind of like purpley pink. But, um, what is it called? It's a uh, plum... It's plum something. I don't know why I can't think of it. Like, I'm just, my brain is not working today, but it's uh, Plum Dandy. Plum Dandy. I love that shade, too. So any mauves or burnt oranges and browns, I'm all about. I think those flatter my skin the most. I'm not much for true reds, um, and I'm not much for uh, vampy dark shades. I mostly just gravitate towards this shade or um, something like... The perfect mauve. What is my perfect mauve? I know a perfect mauve that I've had has to be this one. Flight Risk from the Peach Collection from Too Faced, which I don't think they carry anymore. Um, but I like mauves or, ooh, even this one. This one's really nice for it. Uh, this is Estee Lauder's uh, Pure Color Whipped. And this is the shade Sweet Tart. That one's a really good one. But yes, I do like... Uh, Coffee and Sigs, that's one of my other favorites. Of course, those don't go with that kind. But for reference, I mean, I use Dolly Danger in the lip liner, which these, I think, are discontinued now. And then Covert Affair. These are two colors that I have to have as a lip liner if I do use a lip liner. But anyways, that's, that's pretty much it. I really loved this collection. It was really, really nice. Um, but... Yeah, so if you are in the market for something really warm and fallish, I would recommend the Pricked Palette from Jeffree Star. Um, I'm sure I could find a dupe about it because there's always a dupe somewhere. Um, but I really do enjoy Jeffree Star products. I just That's just personally me. You don't have to agree with me. You can find something else. I'm not saying go out and buy it right now. But I mean, if you're looking for a good quality product, I would probably pick this up, but um, I will try and see if I can look for dupes. Those of you that don't like Jeffree Star, you could actually, I could probably just link that in the description if I could find something similar. But stay tuned, I will be doing a swatch and review on the Primrose palette from Anastasia, which I've collected Anastasia palettes for a long time. Now they have all, sadly, pretty much most of them are ready to just be tossed in the trash because they are old. Um, I've had Modern Romance, or what is it, Modern Renaissance for the longest time. I've had Subculture for the longest time. Um, when they expire, I don't want to put them on my eyes, so those are just getting pushed away. But anyways, I do like this palette. Um, this is fun. It was a lot of fun trying this, and I really like the look that I came up with today. So thank you guys so much. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't, and also like this video. I really appreciate it. And then, of course, stay tuned for... I'm going to get this up before October is over. And then, of course, stay tuned for my Freaky Fridays. If you haven't seen them, please check them out. They're all my special effects or Halloween looks. I really love doing those. Those are my favorite. And I am working on a um, really important project for me. I want to create the zodiac signs. So stay tuned for those. They're not going to be during Halloween, October. They're going to be started, hopefully. Um, I just need to kind of get through it. I'm still kind of like trying to design um, which each of them are going to look like. Um, I wanted to start with Aries, but I just haven't gotten my wig yet for that one, so I might not start filming them until I get the actual wigs. So thank you so much, and please stay tuned for those. I will try and post those. Um, I don't know, should I start with just Scorpio? I think I might. I might start with Scorpio, but I really wanted to get a nice black wig for that one. I don't know, Scorpio is very, like, this is very Scorpio. This is very dark and mysterious and that's how I feel like Scorpios are. I know a lot of Scorpios um, and 
I feel like they're very uh, mysterious creatures and I really am fascinated with Scorpios. But yes, um, I will definitely probably start with Scorpio um, and probably post that in November um, and then just kind of go from there. So every month I'll be posting one. So stay tuned for that. Thank you guys so much and I'll see you next time. Bye.